Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make uh, characters in Make Human. And uh, basically, you want to uh, go to the Make Human website. Let me bring that up for you real quick. You can Google it. So I've been there a couple times, but as you see, this site is um, pretty straightforward. You have a couple of different things you can get from this site. Uh, first thing you can get the actual program the alpha version or stable alpha version is 1.0.2 but what I like to do is mess around with the nightly builds some nights some days they have something that's very minor that they've changed and sometimes they really make a huge difference like they did in this build or at least from the last time I checked the builds it's been a month or better Okay, you would download from this page here, and don't be alarmed when you see this. This is, you can scan it and it's totally safe. Uh, should be anyway. From them, I've never had any problems. Um, maybe bugs in the program, but never any viruses. Okay, for myself, I would download the 32 bit WinZip file, but if you have Linux or if you have Mac, you would choose one of those two. And then once you download it, you're going to get a zip folder that looks like this. If I can move over a little bit. Okay. I don't want to ex extract it because I already have it. It's over here. And once you get that, you're going to see all of these. And this is your application right here. So you're going to double click that. Or left double click, I should say. And you're going to have a program that shows you a character in the middle of your screen and of course you know about this so hopefully it's not going to offend anybody let's go ahead and make him a guy maximize the screen uh, here's the ethnic sliders here I'm going to go ahead and slide this over like that proportions you see how it stretches the different parts of the body to make it look pretty much however you want uh, the height same things down here Right now he's at uh, five foot eight inches. Also, too, if you want to change the um, metric or imperial, you can. So if that helps you out, that way when you get back to the modeling, you can see okay, it's in centimeters rather than uh, inches. I'm gonna go ahead and set change mine back to imperial. Okay, you can change the weight, make him a muscle guy. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Change it back down a little bit. It can be somewhat muscular, I guess. Age, right here, you can change that to old man. It's 90 years old. All, right, all the way down to a baby. Or anything in between. So you can create a wide range of characters. Uh, a little bit on some of the other features of this. Clothes, go ahead and clothe them so hopefully it doesn't bother anybody for looking at something like this so let's give him some jeans and let's do a t-shirt I think that's a long one it is I don't want that one let's do a short one uh, some shoes and let's give him some hair let's see we want let's, well, let's try that one or that one let's see that one looks pretty good. Okay, eyes. High poly. Okay, yeah, you can change or select different types of teeth you want to put in there. Those look like fangs. Can't really tell from that image. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay. Um, let's see what else. You have eyelashes, minimum, all the way up to extreme. Do minimum. Give him a tongue. Give him eyebrows. Uh, the topologies are for like if you want to uh, have a low or high polygon character. So a proxy would make it the lowest. You see how even the fingers change to where it's sort of like a over the top, maybe like a Sims type game where you're not going to see the, the features. It's going to be something like this. Where the character's walking like this, and you're probably not going to pay too much attention to 
details because you're not going to be able to see the eyes too well and you're not going to see anything else. You just see something that resembles a, a character or a human. But if you're making a, a detailed mesh, you don't want this one. You won't probably want either the male, which gives him pretty good definition, the male muscle 13,290, 13, which is kind of high polygon. Or you can go with a medium 1591. Um, these two up here are not appropriate for YouTube, I'm thinking, because they're anatomically correct. But you can just play around, mess around with those if you want. Um, so for for gaming, what I'm using mine, more, mine for mainly is the best one to go to would probably be the proxy or the 1591. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Um, I think I have everything. Oh, materials, yeah. Let's give him uh, skin texture. Go with this one. Let's go with uh, hair. It's going to be like that eyes. You can change from a variety of different colors of uh, eyes. Eyebrows stay the same. I think the rest of these are the same. For the textures. T shirt, same. Jeans, you can choose between leather. <coughs> Excuse me. Leather basic or. Uh, Satin jeans, let's see shoes, and yeah, they're gonna stay the same. Okay, pose animate. If you want something very basic, you can go with game type rig. I think Unity yeah, 62 is kind of a basic game rig where you do have an ability to open the jaw and move the eyelids or the eyes and the eyelids. And of course, you can tilt the head and the arms and everything else for a more. Uh, I think it's the default with no toes. More animated look. You could uh, use this one. It has more bones. 137 compared to 37. And you see it has facial bones throughout. So you can use the cheeks, the eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, everything. So you can come up with a lot of different animation sequences like that, as well as the rest of the body. And then after we got that, I think we're done. You can take a quick look at what your guy looks like, and that's what he's going to look like. Okay, and like I said, this is mainly for a game. Now, if you wanted this for a movie or cut sequence for a game where you want high definition, uh, high resolution meshes, then you probably want to go with the, I think it was the 15,000 proxy. Let's see, where is that at? Or not proxy the uh, male muscle thirteen thousand two hundred ninety versus the uh, fifteen ninety one. That's a huge difference in polygons. Okay, now when we're done, we're ready to export. I'm going to use this tab here or this uh, icon here. Colada is pretty good. Uh, object is okay too, but I'm going to use Colada. It's like this inch. Uh, menu tab right there, and then I'll just type in the name of my character, uh, guy, medium, poly, and the date. It's exporting, and I'm just about done for uh, Make Human, and I'm going to bring him into Blender in the next tutorial. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.